Hello, my name is Randy Hardy, and I'm an organizer for the International Union, SPFPA. And by now, you should have received your ballot from the National Labor Board. You want to make sure that you fill out the ballot exactly as instructed by the National Labor Board to ensure that your mail ballot is counted. Okay, right now, I'm going to walk through the steps with you. First, let's start with the ballot. The ballot has two choices. Choice one is yes. Yes, I want a better wages. Yes, I want better benefits and job security. Yes, I want a voice. Or you can select no and be an at will employee, meaning that you have absolutely no voice. Now that you have selected yes for SPFPA, Please put the same ballot into the secret envelope as instructed by the National Labor Board. Once the ballot is in the secret envelope, please seal the back of the secret envelope and proceed to the next step. Okay, so we filled out our ballot by voting yes for SPFPA and then we placed it into the secret envelope. Now that same secret envelope goes into a mailing envelope. Once you place the secret envelope into the mailing envelope, Seal the back of the mailing envelope and please, please sign the back of it. Please note that without your signature on the back of the mailing envelope, your ballot is not valid. That means that the International Labor Board will not accept it. Your voice will not be heard. Please, please, again, sign the back of the mailing envelope. Now that you have signed the back of the mailing envelope, your ballot is now ready to be shipped to the National Labor Board to be counted. We ask you to support us and give us the privilege of representing you and your fellow officers by voting yes for SPFPA. Again, my name is Randy Hardy, and if you have any questions or concerns, please give me a call at 586-209-1524 or call Dwayne Phillips at 586-872-5634. Thank you for your valued time, and remember, together we will succeed standing strong.